Hello and welcome to the Daily Brown Bag. Today we're going to be talking about Google's new dynamic search ads. I'm Chad Hill and I'm joined by Adam Stetzer. Yeah, good afternoon, Chad. Welcome to the Brown Bag. Dynamic search ads. Chad and I were just talking about this. We seem like we've seen this movie before, but we'll get into it. So what's Google doing? These are ads that are generated dynamically and automatically for you. So normally when you go to advertise PPC, you are responsible for building the ad copy. Google has some tools, helps you along, does some testing here. They're automatically generating the ads. How does this work? Well, the Google bots are crawling your site. Well, frankly, already have because they do that for their organic SEO world. But now they're using that data to update an index of what they think the searcher might like to see. So I guess, Chad, here the difference is, one, you're advertising your content, and two, you just stick in the credit card and the thing runs. Do I have this thing right? It's a little hard to get your head around it. Help us understand this. Yeah, and this is a little bit like Groundhog Day because there was a beta of this exact product. I think it had a slightly different name a couple years ago, and you know it was at the time we called it kind of joked around and called it paid SEO. But you're right, Adam. It's exactly what it does: is it goes in, it indexes your website. You know there are something like three billion searches a day on Google, and there's the stat that I think can, has continued to hold true is that 15% of searches are new at any given time. And so the general idea is that you can't really keep up with all these very specific search phrases. And so Google has built this whole part of its business that's good at matching search queries to content. So why not sort of help goose your, your sort of your content along by paying for these dynamic search ads, which would show in the search results as ads, but they're but you you have some control over what part of the site that Google's going to index and show in those ads. So it's an interesting product, and I, we were talking about how we're wondering a couple of years ago this didn't really fly and you know it sort of never really took off but within the context of native advertising and content discovery do you think this is going to have, uh, have a second second go Adam? Well so yeah I'm just still trying to get my head around it so yeah it's this paid content discovery product is really what Google's rolling out and as you said we've seen this before but uh, you know a couple things strike me and then I want to come back to where the market is because I think you're right Chad the market is in a very different place now than a few years ago but What's a little mystifying here is so you're doing PPC in essence because you are paying per click, but the people are passing through to a content page. So the first thing that strikes me is, you know, the the uh, conversion is going to be a lot different than when you send someone to a highly tailored landing page. And usually we talk about this all the time. The conversion is really important to make PPC work for you in the long run. So I have to assume that these clicks are going to be much cheaper. Chad, what's your thought on that? Are these going to be cheaper clicks? Do we have any data on that? Yeah, I think absolutely. I mean, the last time this came out, again, this word, there was a beta, very similar. We haven't seen the final part of this. But, yes, the, the chips, the, the clicks, sorry, were definitely a lot um, less expensive. And you would probably look at this a more like a display, av- a display ad where there's going to be a lot of impressions. You probably will have a lot of clicks. But the conversion rate, as you said, Adam, will be way lower. So if you have a targeted cost per conversion, the only way you're going to be able to overcome that lower conversion rate is by paying significantly less um, okay. for the click. Yeah, and that makes some sense. And now let's catch up with where the market is here in 2014 and this idea of paid SEO or paid organic advertising because it's certainly merging the two. Yeah, so in 2014, Chad, you know, we've got native advertising going strong with some big players, well-funded players. We've got content discovery going strong. So when you think about the outbrains and the Tabulas and the Zamantas that are all out there, they're doing a lot of this. So that uh, is what makes me think Google's like, yeah, let's go back at it this time with a market that's slightly more mature and ready to spend money. Probably not as much as typical search-based PPC, but there definitely is money being spent, very large dollars for content discovery, and we know the click-through rates on those are very high. So I do think you're right. It's a different market, and maybe this time it will catch, uh, but I'm still having a hard time getting my, my head wrapped around it to, to think if you know if this is the right time for Google to move this way. Yeah, and, and I agree with you, Adam. I think that it is definitely um, something people will try. There's definitely dollars that we've seen with our clients out there to try these new platforms. Um, so certainly this will be one of those things that people want to, to test out um, and and certainly to get some more traction off of the blog and other content investments they're making.
Yeah, so dynamic search ads. That's our report for today. Chad, I say we try it out, and let's come back to our bound bag uh, with some hard dollars and, and some uh, data so we can share with you. Uh, drop us a comment. Let us, let us know if you think this is interesting. We hope, as always, you'll subscribe, and we'll see you back in another brown bag.